in this video I will show you the connections the cable the right connection between your keyboard and MPC and external uh, mixer you can use DJ mixer or studio mixer now before I go ahead with the connection I need to uh, to clarify about the connection of your keyboard some of you might have a keyboard just like this it has a uh, audio output MIDI in and out uh, uh, connection and it has a uh, external I mean it has a USB port to store whatever data that you want to store and another USB port to connect this to your computer to use it with your door like Apple Studio, Sonar, uh, Ableton Live something like that. Now with other uh, uh, keyboard you might have some keyboard like this it only has MIDI in and out ports and the audio output is gonna be the headphone output now if you happen to have that kind of keyboard that doesn't have a standard uh, audio output jack you will need this kind of cable it, they call this Y cable the first end it has a, a 1 8 inch uh, jack this is a headphone jack and then the other ends would be standard uh, RCA jack now before you can connect this to your keyboard that doesn't have a regular audio input which is just a regular quarter inch jack headphone jack right there you will need uh, another adapter just this one it's a quarter inch adapter for headphone and connect that there and connect it to your keyboard just like that so that way you can output the sound of your your keyboard now with the other end you will need another adapter to connect this to your MPC because the MPC has a quarter inch jack cable just like this as you can see it there that's the only jack that we can use now it's either uh, you input this to your uh, MPC or you're just gonna connect it just like this there you go left and right and then you connect it to record input of your MPC and then the other end will be connected to your keyboard headphone output jack there you go so that way you can hear the sound coming from your keyboard alright now let's say you don't have Y cable, you, have, you don't have this this uh, cables and adapter, but you only have this uh, quarter inch jack cable. Let's say you have this quarter inch jack cable. So what you're gonna do is you will need another adapter just like this. It's a quarter inch jack adapter for headphone, big uh, headphone. So left and right, and then connect it to your headphone audio output of your keyboard and then the end of this cable will need to be connected to the record input of your MPC record input or audio input of your MPC okay now since I had uh, explained that very clearly now we're gonna go ahead with the connection so in this video I will show you uh, two types of connections we can use the keyboard and the MPC using the internal mixer of the MPC that way we can hear whatever sounds that we are trying to play or we're trying to record using just your keyboard and the MPC using the internal mixer just in case you don't have internal mix I mean you don't have external mixer just like the one I have right there it doesn't matter you can still hear what you're trying to play now the cable that we're gonna need to use is first first cable that we're gonna need is the MIDI, um, um, I mean the MIDI cable this MIDI cable has a five pins inside so it's gonna be for MIDI in and MIDI out and then we're gonna need a 
quarter inch jack to connect this to your keyboard now just like what I said a while ago some of you might have a different audio connection so you can either use the RCA the Y jack or something like that or this one but usually if you have a high-end synthesizer or keyboard you will get this one or maybe uh, RCA jack cable so what we're gonna do right now we will need to connect this blue one into uh, MIDI output of the keyboard alright now from the MPC we're gonna try to find the another the, the, the end of this uh, MIDI cable will go to MIDI input of your MPC you can either put it to MIDI in 1 or MIDI in 2 but we're, go, we're gonna put to MIDI in 1 alright now from the MPC the other cable we're gonna need to connect to MIDI output A or MIDI output B but we're gonna put it to MIDI output A there you go now from your uh, from your keyboard the other end of that uh, cable we will need to connect to MIDI input of your keyboard there you go now let's go with the audio audio connection now we're gonna use the XLR uh, cable or the the quarter inch cable now all you have to do is just connect left and right audio output of your keyboard there you go and then the other end from your from your mpc you will need to connect left and right to the record input of your mpc there you go now the other setup this is already set up for internal mixer use but we're gonna use let's say we want to use external uh, mixer to hear whatever sound that we were trying to hear you can uh, either connect this this MIDI, uh, I mean this audio output directly to the mixer and then the audio output of this MPC directly let's say the keyboard would be channel 1 and then the keyboard I mean that the uh, MPC will be channel 2 so that way when you try to to sep you can separate the sound from MPC and keyboard but with this setup if you just connect this keyboard directly to the record input of your your uh, MPC you cannot really separate the sound you gotta have your external mixer to separate the sound now uh, to hear whatever sound that we're trying to play or record from MPC what we're gonna need is I have another XLR cable but this time the first end would be quarter inch jack and then the other end would be a regular RCA jack because that's what we have here on my mixer so what I'm going to do is connect this into uh, channel number two audio channel number two or line input number two and then the other end is the quarter inch jack we will need to put this into stereo output of your uh, uh, MPC it's either the media uh, audio output of your MPC or you can connect it to the assignable mix out of your MPC and there, there will be extra step to output the sound from those connections but we're gonna put we're gonna uh, put it into stereo output so that way we can instantly hear what we we are trying to play or record from MPC so now the connections are all set but before we can play a sound before we can play everything is we need to uh, set up the key the keyboard we need to turn off and on the local and external MIDI clock and then from the the, the MPC we need to confirm that it is receiving MIDI input number one MIDI output A just like that so I'm gonna put this I'm gonna turn this just like this
align my uh there we go my uh camera now we're gonna turn this like this turn my external mixer just like this Alright, well, I'm gonna turn on my mixer, turn on my MPC, and turn on my keyboard. You don't have to turn on everything, you just have to turn on your keyboard and your MPC. Now, the second step would be from your uh, MPC, you will need to verify which PD connection. You are into so what you're gonna do is mode and then MIDI pad 9 now from this setup you will need to set up the uh, MIDI sync in into number one and then sync out letter A because that's that's where we connect the MIDI cable all right now we're set up let's go back to the main screen now to hear the sound that we are trying to play or record we're gonna need to press mode and then mixer there you go now it's it's either you using large screen or small screen you will see the same i mean the same it's gonna be the same procedure so what you're gonna do is try to search for the input knob from your small screen but i have this big screen so it's so it is easy to see what we what we need to press so we're gonna go to our uh, input there you go now on your small screen you will see the same screen that i'm having here so what you're gonna do is look for input through and turn the data wheel to turn that on all right there you go now what well, right now i don't have a speaker or something but i'm just gonna connect my portable speaker here from headphone jack now before you can hear any sound first you need to make sure that the main master volume of your key keyboard is set up to a normal position and from the MPC you will need to set up the record input into normal position just like right there okay now let's try to play any note as you can see, I'm, I'm able to hear the sound that, I, that I'm playing. Now, if I try to record, look what gonna happen. Alright, now oh, I think I have a, a, a wrong uh, setup. I think it's supposed to be, uh, because I cannot hear the, the metronome. I'm supposed to hear the metronome. So what I'm going to do is change the MIDI the connection into uh, sync out B and uh, sync in num number two. So now, if I try to press the record, I will hear the metronome. There you go. So it means I have the right connection. So it turns out that I I need to switch this so that we can do the sync one and uh, sync out letter A. But just like what I said a while ago, if you put uh, MIDI in and then you're going to put this here, MIDI A. MIDI in 1, MIDI, eight, uh, MIDI out A. MIDI, MIDI in 2, just like that, you know. So whatever number, whatever letter that you put your cable, you need to set the same setting just like the one I have here. So I have my MIDI in cable into number 2 and I have my MIDI out into letter B. All right. Now you should have you should see you should hear the metronome when you try to record a sound. Just like that. Now if I try to record a sound, this is what's going to happen. If I have been set the MPC into right uh, uh right mode or I mean right setup. Now, let's play. We just played the MPC, but 
there's no sound going on. It's because even though I, we, we are able to hear the sound, it's because we haven't set up the MIDI channel yet. So what you're gonna do is highlight the program and then turn the jog wheel knob all the way up and you will see number and all and then the number the track number and then from this left side and right side you will see MIDI up so it means the reason why we cannot hear any sound because the MIDI is up so once we turn that on to any number usually if we use MIDI MIDI 1 uh, MIDI input 1 you will need to use you will need to uh, use MIDI 1 I mean 1A one to 116 if you use MIDI input B it's gonna be 1B to 1 uh, I mean 1B one, one to 16B just like that so let's try to uh, there you go as you can see it there when I turn on the MIDI uh, channel yeah, we we just uh, heard the uh, the sound that I played a while ago. There you go. Now let's say let's say I wanna record a sound or something or trigger the drum kits from the MPC through the keyboard. What we're gonna need to do is let's let's try to load the sample. I'm gonna try to load a sample here. Uh, the, maybe well, let me double check whatever sound that we, we can use. Now this is gonna be crazy. If I try to play the drum from the from the MPC, I will hear just the sound. I mean the drum sound. Now if I try to play it here, The reason why the reason why I'm playing the drum sound from MPC and the, we we're still hearing the piano it's because we haven't set up the keyboard yet so to hear just the drum and not the drum and the keyboard what you're gonna do is go to your uh, to your keyboard any kind of keyboard should have MIDI in, a uh, MIDI in and out clock uh, timing. So what we're gonna do is gonna go to utility, and then we're gonna try to search for the. It's either computer connection or whatever, just like that. It's all about the MIDI. So what we're gonna do is turn off the local local connection, MIDI local connection. And let's turn on the external uh, MIDI clock. All right. Now, if I try to play this right here, it's going to be the same on the keyboard. Now, if I try to turn on the local, you will hit the, the MPC drum kit and the keyboard. Now, so it's very important to turn the local MIDI clock up from your keyboard. Now, let's hear it again. If I try to turn it on. You see? So, you need to turn that up. There you go. Now, uh... From MPC to make everything in sync, 
you will need to uh, make sure that the external clock is on because if I try to if I try to turn this off whatever uh, whatever time signature is going on from the keyboard the MPC will follow that time signature but if I turn the external up I mean if I turn the external MIDI clock on whatever time signature from the MPC the piano will follow that time sig signature so what we're gonna do right here is I'm gonna turn this on and as you can see it here if I try to record you will hear you will see something external right there oh wait let me oh not that not this one where let me let me, let me double check turn this off if we try um, I mean I'm um, it's not about the external clock but we're talking about the local let me double check that again oh, not that one right there oh man I, uh, I'm fucked up so what, what we're gonna do right here is uh we're gonna record a sound Well, let me do this right now I'm I'm able I'm gonna record a drum beat it's either I can use the keyboard or use the uh, the MPC pad but what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna uh, record multiple sound and we're gonna turn the program into program number just like that and what we're gonna hear is uh, piano sound no not really because I we haven't turned the MIDI <coughs> channel on yet so what we're gonna do we're gonna need to turn on the MIDI channel <coughs> <clears throat> there you go <coughs> all right <coughs> so what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you how to record multiple sound <coughs> with this right here Oh, <coughs> I forgot my uh, my bar. I need to make it four bar. <coughs> Sorry about that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna layer that sound. Now for me to able to record multiple different sound what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to track number two MIDI track number two there you go <clears throat> now on my uh, on my track it's gonna be the same the same sequence as you can see there's sequence number 10 from the program I have to select the <clears throat> MIDI channel again I mean the MIDI program again now what I'm gonna do is select a sound that I would like to record I mean would like to to use and to, to to hear the sound you must select the MIDI uh, channel into number two you don't put it to MIDI channel number one because let's say you're playing grand piano on MIDI channel number one and then you play guitar on MIDI channel number two but you just set everything at the same MIDI track it will just uh, sound as 
grand piano so to separate that sound you need to uh, uh, input MIDI channel number two as you can see it there I'm using MIDI channel number two. it's different but if I put MIDI channel number one I am hearing the same patch the same sound that I have used from the track number two so what you're gonna do is go to MIDI track number two there you go now I'm able to choose the sound that I would like to use this is this number and this digit is gonna be your your sound your your patch sound you only have up to 128 sound to choose this is a general MIDI sounds that you use for for your key from your keyboard and even from your DAW now uh, I, I wanna I wanna use a strings there you go As you can see it there, I am playing uh, grand piano and a string at the same time. I had recorded multiple uh, uh, sound. Now let's say we want uh, we want to uh, incorporate the the sound from the MPC instead of the sound of the keyboard. Now in this video you will learn that I can control the sound of MPC using the keyboard instead of just going here and making my drum beat or something. You can you can do that too but oh wait let me let me go right there. Now this is this is I, I I'm gonna I'll be playing the sound from MPC. I can record that just like so. I can do that or I can do that here let's do that Did you see that? I'm able to record, incorporate the sound of the keyboard and the sound of the MPC at the same time. Let's, let's do, we can either do the repeat mode here if you want. Oh, not, not from the keyboard, but only just from here. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna try to, uh, record a hi-hat up oh. oh there you go let me do this again Now uh, that's a bad record because I forgot to to put that into 132. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put that into 132 to make it real tight. There you go. That's how you make beats now with your MPC and the piano. Now let's say we already record two MIDI track and one drum uh, drum uh, beats using the internal music of the MPC. Let's go to track number four. This time we're gonna try to record another sound again. So this time what we're gonna do is just turn the data wheel all the way up and turn the MIDI channel into number three because we're using 
third uh, sound from MIDI so what we're gonna do is select whatever sound that we we want to use all right I'm gonna use the pizzicato we can use this too do that oh, <laughs> I'm so upbeat right there but we can always just turn that up and then we can do it again. You see how it's slick my MPC right there? I'm using my MPC Tilt Kit Volume 3.2 That this is my very special MPC 1000 Custom MPC Now from the mixer We can hear whatever sound that we are trying to play or something As you can see it there the main audio output of the MPC goes to the input of the of the mixer. Now let's try to connect that here. There you go. Now you can uh you can separate the sound of the MPC. Let's say you 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 had uh, recorded the uh, drum beats here, and then the the melody is from here. So what you're gonna do is connect. The audio output of the keyboard to the mid to the audio output number one. I mean, it, audio input number one on your mixer, and then the audio output of the MPC will go to MIDI. I mean, uh, to audio input number two. Right now, I I, I didn't set up just like that. I, I jump because I don't have the cable yet. But as you can see here, I'm able to hear whatever sound that we are playing on MPC. So that's how you use the MPC or the internal mixer of the MPC. Actually, I'm going to show you how to connect, how to separate the sound from, uh, from MPC and then the, the keyboard. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to change the actual connection of this uh wait let me double check i'm gonna change this i'm just gonna change the connection so what i'm going to do right here <clears throat> oh, i forgot my cable forgot what i Put, uh, put my cable. <laughs> well, let me check. How's your out? Ah, oh, forget that. I don't have the cable. I should do that on my other uh, video. I will just put another video where I can separate the sound of the MPC and the keyboard using this one let's say this one is the drum bit and then this one is the melody i don't have it here but i have my old video that i'm showing 
that I can separate the sound of the MPC and the sound of the keyboard but I'm just showing you here the main top priority here if you don't have the external uh, mixer you can still hear whatever things that you want to hear using only your keyboard and the MPC So these are the sounds that I, that I had are recorded using the MPC and the MIDI keyboard. I mean the portable keyboard just like this. Let me, let me do the other one. I like this beat. It's like a, I ain't mad at you by Tupac, but I make my own version of it. You see how how easy it is using my MPC with my Excel CD and my own MPC Tilt Kit Volume Three Point Two. With the original Excel CD, you can't do this. MPCStop.com, they don't have this kind of features with their own uh, product. So this is the kind of beat that you can use, I mean you can make using whatever portable keyboard that you have just like the one I have here.
right, there you go.